What's up hip hop fans? Welcome to another edition of Hip Hop Head. My name is Julian Williams. I'm going to do a review for my second album that's coming out on um, September the 28th, which is going to be Ice Cube. I Am The West this is my second review for today. I'll do the rest um, more than likely later on this week. But anyway, Ice Cube, I Am The West. Um, this album is a very solid album from Ice Cube. Um, I actually, I didn't listen to his last album, Raw Footage. I did listen to um, the album before that, and I listened to, actually I listened to pretty much all, almost all of Ice Cube's albums, except for, except for um, Greatest Hits, which I knew he had a couple, just, you know, had a couple records on there, and um, War and Peace, I didn't listen, I hadn't listened to Peace as well, those are the only albums from Ice Cube I haven't, hadn't listened to, but every other Ice Cube record I've listened to, um, his um, debut album, America's Most Wanted, perhaps an all-time classic in hip-hop music um, one of my favorite albums to listen to um, but you know this album um, sometimes on this album he, he's very reminiscent of that old style from America's Most Wanted and um, Death Certificate he was he was great on this album in my opinion I rate this album 4 out of 5 I'm gonna rate it 4 out of 5 because there's a couple songs on this record that shouldn't have really been on the record and you kind of have to count the whole rec the record as a whole, but there were a couple songs that just shouldn't have been on the record. They're just that just felt like filler songs. And but overall, um, I think that if it was just the first ten songs on the record, if it was the first ten songs on the record, this album could have been a five mic album. If there's only the first ten songs, maybe you can add. Um, Nothing like LA as well. You can add, you can even add Hood Robin. It could have been a four and a half to five mic album if it was the first ten songs. Um, and, and maybe because you know there's just a couple songs that just shouldn't have been on there. Um, it is what it is. Um, your money or your life and all day, all day every day and Fat Cat. Um, songs later on in the record, which is songs that just should, just should not have been on the record. Um, because you know there are songs with diff with kind of a different vibe and a different energy. And I think just I think probably the best way to end the record would have been with nothing like L.A. Um, it just it just should have been the way to end the record. But anyway, guys, um, the West Coast scene in hip hop is somewhat dormant at the moment. The only new the only um younger artists out at the moment is the game, and the game. Um, who knows when it, the Red Album is coming out from the game. So since the West Coast is dormant, Ice Cube, pretty much what he did is he put the West Coast on his back and put this album out. Will this album be enough for the West Coast? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so because there's a, because um, along with Ice Cube, there's not too many other artists coming out from the West Coast. Um, not too many new artists. Um, I do like, you know, and some of these guys that are West Coast artists, um, and where I am in the South, um, just like how some artists from the South is to what to a lot of people from the West Coast, um, some artists to us are novelty acts um, from the West Coast. The same way as some artists like from Dallas are novelty acts to um, people from other region regions. I actually find um, the row from Lancaster, Texas, which is near where I live. Um, I find him to be a novelty act myself, and he's from Dallas. Um, but you know, it's just a different style of rap. Um, but me, me personally, I do like the I do like West Coast music more so than I like music that comes out here. Um, but on this album, anyway, back to the album. I think that Ice Cube did very good lyrically. Lyrically, um, um, you know, he was great lyrically. I think that as far as lyrics go. Um, he was much stronger on this record than he was on on um, some of his um, previous um, albums. I think he was much stronger lyrically. I like the direction of the record because he talked about different. He had a different range of topics. Um, if you listen to um, songs such as "No Country for Young Men," you kind of hear the old Ice Cube on that record. Um, "No Country for Young Men" and and nothing like nothing like L.A. Two West Coast. Um, so on nice you kind of hear the old Ice Cube on these songs and 
And um, I guess, you know, for a lot of fans, it's what they kind of look for when they hear Ice Cube record. You know, someone who put out a classic debut album in, um, in hip-hop. Um, one of the best debut albums to ever come out. And and then, you know, now, you know, being the legend that he is, you know, he's he came back, you know, and the hip-hop he's making isn't necessarily gangster rap. Um, the gangster rap image has been dead for quite some time, but people would like to continue to bring it up when something happens. But I just keep on this record, um, you know, just went on and he rapped. He had a great delivery. The production was solid. Um, so, but there were songs on the record that shouldn't have been on it. Um, just that's just my opinion. There's just songs that shouldn't have been on the record. So me, I gave the record four and a half. I mean, excuse me, four out of five. It could have been four and a half or five mics if um, a few of the songs, a few of the filler songs weren't on the record. But overall, great record from Ice Cube. Um, and I'll be sure to pick this record up. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll be back later this week. Peace.